but uh, come on, come on. Anyway, this is a perfect secret way of you can cook your green bean at home and this is a unique way how to cook your green bean at home. A lot of people when they're cooking vegetable at home, they're cooking out everything. You want to leave some fiber inside of the vegetable when it go inside of you, you know what's the work we're going to do inside of your system. I want to say thank you so much for watching this show. It's a very important one for you guys and hopefully you'll just follow my inspire recipe how to cook the green bean. It might seem a little bit funny, but just take a good look at this, the way I, how I cook it and the way it come out lovely, green, fresh and nice. Thank you so much. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus me and get your favorite recipe. I love you all and stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Please log on on YouTube and watch more video down below in the description box. There's a lot more video clipping. You can click on the link, take it straight back to another video to my YouTube channel. I love you all. Good and you show my fans and how to cook green bean at home. I just washed them off. Put them right here. Just, just wash them off and honestly, what you need to do is to get a medium sized pot. Let's show my fans them. Medium sized pot like this one. Um, just get some water inside of it at the moment. And I'm gonna show you. All you can make yourself, all you to cook off your green beans and they come out lovely at home. So what you do, fill a pot like this with some water. And I'm gonna show you how to do your green bean at home. So at the moment, my nurse turn on my stove and we will get there in the next couple of seconds. So first thing, get a, get a small knife or your regular knife for your knife like to use. We're gonna cut off the edges of the bean. Just gonna show you exactly what's going on. I'm coming just a minute guys, I will show you. So when you cut off the edge of the bean, you want to Simple, cut them into half because you don't want it too big. All right, cut these one you can see on the chunk here, right? So we're just gonna cut off the edges then and make them look unique and formalized. As you can see, exactly what I'm doing right here. Sometimes, if you're in a rush, you can put a portion of them together, but I'm not gonna be doing that at the moment because I just want everything to look really nice and. Green bean, I'll tell you something, green bean is really good for you. If you doesn't eat green bean, I would encourage you to try and eat some green bean because this have a lot of benefit in it. Yeah, really nice. So as I can see, I'm just simply cutting off all of these green bean. I'm just cutting off there. Uh, the tail bits and the edges part of the green bean. And honestly guys, it's just amazing to know what you can do when you're at home doing certain kind of stuff. I'm using a very sharp knife, so I'm just have to just be careful of what I'm been doing. Yeah, and they're all looking lovely. I just washed them off. So that's the best way all you can do your green bean and cut off the uh, bits, cut them into half and make everything look really nice. See that? Yeah. That's exactly what you're talking about. Oh, this one, you could cut this into three. Yeah, see that? This one. Nice and lovely. So basically, I've just, just finished cut it. This is it right here. Looking lovely, fresh and nice, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to show you how to cut them off. Very easy, and you can do the same thing at home. Great bean, how to cook it at home. Nice and lovely. So basically, when you want to cook beans, carrot, anything like that, vegetable-wise, what you need to do is this need to happen. The water need to start boil up. All right. Crack a little bit of salt meat, not too much salt. Second thing, olive oil or vegetable oil. You yeah, pop roughly a tablespoon. Then after you do that, just put in your vegetable, your green bean. Then it's going to have that nice, lovely look. 
So we're gonna leave that for about three, just three, about two seconds the least. You don't wanna have it too long in the water. Nice one, lovely guys. So basically, as you can see, here it is. It's looking lovely. You don't want to overcook your vegetable. You need to leave some fiber in the vegetable. I, I don't like when someone cook their vegetable and overcook it. Let's turn off the stove because as you can see, make to start boil now and, and I'm going to simple do a thing like this. I'm going to be straining it off now over here in my sink. But I don't love when you're cooking your vegetable and you overcook it. It just doesn't nice guys, honestly. Just doesn't, 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 doesn't nice at all. You must always left a little fiber in the vegetable. Take a good look. That's exactly what we are talking about. All right. So basically, the vegetable is finished cook, and that's the best way you can cook your green bean at home. Please, guys, don't overcook your green bean when you're making nice, lovely vegetable like this. All right. Just simply cook it a little bit, and that's it. You're looking nice, alright? Enjoy, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo show. We got a lot more recipe like this will be coming. Show them how to cook vegetable at home and leave the fiber in at the vegetable. You can just have this on its own, just like this. Enjoy. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.